Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Python video. In this video, we're going to look at returning more than one value using the return statement. In most languages, that's very difficult to do. Well, Python allows you to return structures so that you can do that type of uh, activity. And for our purposes, we're going to introduce and we're going to return a tuple. A tuple is a immutable data type. You create a tuple similar to the way you create a list, except you use parentheses instead of square brackets, and then you put your values in. And that creates a tuple. Well, if I had uh, not had an extra apostrophe, correct that. And now that creates a tuple, and we can look at elements in a tuple just like with a list. Element 0 would be the A. Element 2 would be hello. If we just want to print the entire tuple, here we can print it in idle. And we can also slice it. This should print the first two elements of the tuple, the A and the 3. We can navigate and move through a tuple and work with it just like we could a list, except that it's immutable. We cannot change it. And we're going to use a tuple to return two items in our program we're about to do. We're going to create a function called getInfo, and this function is going to ask the user for a name and a color, and then it's going to return those two values as a tuple. Then we're going to just print them out to see how it works. So we're not going to pass it any parameters. We're going to have a couple of input statements. So I'm going to ask to enter your name and store that in name. Have it asked to enter a color. And store that in a variable color. Then we're going to create a tuple and return it. Now I could actually create the tuple and return it in a single line, but I'll do it in two lines. I'll call it return or ret val for return value, and it is going to be the tuple name comma color. And that will fill the tuple up with the name and the color. And then we're going to return it. So we'll say return value. Now, I've already called or created the code to call the function and then I'm going to just return and print the whole tuple. So let's run this and it says enter your name, enter a color, it returned the tuple that contained Dan and Blue and if we wanted to print just one of those we could do that. So if I told it to return zero, that would print, or print return zero, that would print Dan, or whatever name I enter. Let's enter Joe, and red, and it prints Joe. So we can return multiple values by returning a structure, in this case a tuple. A lot of programmers really like tuples. I'm not a huge fan because they are immutable, but one of the places I do like to use them is when returning multiple values from a function. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.